one of the ways I look at how inductors just pass things along at DC yet struggle at AC is to remember that an inductor is simply a bunch of wires coiled around. It's almost like you have a spiral staircase. And if everybody's going in the same direction and there's somebody upstairs beating a drum, boom, 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 and everybody's step, 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 it goes smoothly. But then as soon as you say, okay, everybody go down a step, go up a step, go down a step, go up a step, and then down, up, down, up, faster, 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 faster. You're gonna have people that aren't able to keep up and they're gonna be moving back and forth and they're gonna be jamming up and they're not going to be able to synchronize quite as well. That's just something that I use to kind of visualize why the electrons struggle at that higher frequency when you're changing that direction back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, versus just going straight through. 